Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, June the 24th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Well, after several days of fairly active weather, it looks like things will be a bit quieter today. Satellite image shows that we do have several uh, clusters of thunderstorms over the Mid-South area in the vicinity of Memphis and back into Arkansas and Oklahoma. And the surface pattern still features this uh, boundary just to our north that is pushing a little bit further north, and that's going to help to at least uh, reduce the amount of showers and thunderstorms over the area. At 500 millibars, our upper air pattern does feature a slight um, uh, zonal flow for today, uh, but that's going to gradually morph into a ridge over the next couple of days as we stay pretty warm. Temperatures this morning, very warm across uh, central Alabama. 71 at uh, Anniston, that's not too bad, but 77 at Birmingham, 76 at Tuscaloosa. Those are very warm temperatures. The uh, regional radar over the southeastern U.S., uh, you can see from Oklahoma all the way over into the Memphis area, uh, those clusters of thunderstorms. Those clusters, uh, especially the one over the mid-south area of Memphis, uh, basically is why I'm not completely convinced we'll be completely dry across central Alabama today. I think most of us will s see dry weather, but uh, isolated showers is a possibility. Our watch warning map is a little bit busy. Uh, over there in Oklahoma and Arkansas, we have a severe uh, thunderstorm watch. The orange that you see along the southeast coast, the Gulf Coast, and back into Texas, and a little bit in California, those are uh, heat advisories. And the pinks that you see back there in California and uh, New Mexico and Colorado are high fire danger. The QPF for the next five days is painting a bit of a minimum uh, of uh, rainfall over central and much of Alabama, as a matter of fact. Uh, as we have no real features to uh, grab hold of. The uh, WPC folks uh, forecasting excessive rainfall have a slight risk that extends from uh, western Kentucky across southern uh, Missouri and northern Arkansas into Oklahoma and then turns north across parts of uh, Kansas, Nebraska, and up into Iowa and Minnesota. The Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk uh, over the just to the north of Memphis, over western Tennessee, western Kentucky, the boot heel of Missouri, and northeastern Arkansas, as well as an enhanced risk out over western Oklahoma and the Oklahoma Panhandle uh, for day one. For day two, uh, marginal risks extends from the Carolinas back up into Iowa, with a slight risk uh, centered primarily in the vicinity of Iowa, and then on day. Three, we see the slight risk basically from about Chicago uh, down across northern Missouri into extreme northeastern Kansas. And we do have good news. The tropics remain quiet in the Atlantic Basin, but the uh, tropics in the eastern Pacific have heated up with three areas of concern, including a uh, tropical depression 5E, which is forecast to become a tropical storm later today. The other two areas not forecast to develop much over the next uh, three to five days. The 06 GFS model run this morning, and there's our showers uh, primarily, I think, to the north across the Tennessee River Valley. But once again, I don't think we can rule out showers over our area. And there's our more or less zonal uh, flow with just showing a little bit of a, a hint at uh, some ridging. I wanted to show this, though, that Cape values remain very high, and especially out there over Oklahoma, where those values are over 5,000 joules per kilogram. Wow. Very high values. Monday, we definitely see the uh, ridging aloft uh, as a nice uh, little closed low digs into Nebraska and strengthens, and that helps to uh, kind of pump up the ridge over our area. But uh, once again, the humid air mass means just showers. We see that ridge pumped up even more as uh, it kind of pushes that closed low up into uh, north central Iowa. And uh, not going to uh, belabor the point here, but there's the precipital water chart for midday at uh, Tuesday. And uh, basically, you can see we're just stuck in the southeastern U.S. from Texas, the eastern half of Texas, all the way to the Carolinas with a humid air mass. 
that little trough does uh, come by on Wednesday, and that does help to beat down the ridge a little bit. And because of that, I, I know the GFS is not really saying this, uh, and when you look at the surface pattern on uh, Wednesday for midday there, but I'm thinking that, that little trough combined with diurnal heating looks like we should see the number and coverage of storms go up a bit uh, and perhaps even uh, hold temperatures down with more clouds. The uh, little trough moves by into uh, central Georgia uh, by Thursday at midday, but we see now the ridge beginning to bulge up from eastern Texas uh, up into uh, and along the Mississippi, the central Mississippi River Valley. And again, that just shows the showers in our area. And once again, the precipital water values, you know, quite high. Uh, the, that uh, red you see over central Alabama is uh, just at or slightly above two inches. The ridge becomes the dominant feature on Friday, uh, and again on Saturday we see that. Uh, we're on the kind of the bottom edge of it, so we still remain out of the really excessive heat, but it looks like the mid-Atlantic states and uh, uh, the eastern part of the Great Lakes is going to be quite warm. And uh, once again, showers, a real possibility uh, for the southeastern United States. Sunday, the ridge still in place, and as a matter of fact, as we look out into voodoo country, it keeps that ridge pretty much in place through the 3rd of July. By the, uh, the 6th of July, we've seen that ridge migrate or retrograde. It, it migrates westward, and we now see it uh, in a kind of an elongated pressure pattern from Colorado into southwestern Iowa around the 6th of July. And then when we get out to the end of the period, uh, it remains out that way, bulging a little bit up towards the Great Lakes. But uh, the, the thing to note is the GFS has a rather weak area of um, lowered pressure at 500 millibars over the southeastern U.S. That could spell a bit of a uh, kind of, I don't want to call it a cool down completely, but more clouds and more rain coverage as we head into the end of the voodoo country period. But you know, it's voodoo, right? We don't know if it'll be there in the next model run. Thanks for tuning in so much to the Weather Extreme video. Uh, James Spann is going to be back from vacation. Just absolutely an eager beaver to get back into things with everyone. So I uh, look for him to be producing the Weather Extreme video first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, have a great day. Do be cognizant that the heat is building up and be careful about uh, playing and working outside and take plenty of water breaks. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day. Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.